Hi and welcome, I am Helle. And in this video, I'm going to unbox Miner's Dawn of the Bronze Age. And this is a game for one to four players. It takes about 90 to 150 minutes to play. And it's for the eight years, 14 plus. So let's just see what we have in this box. And this is the back side of the box. Let's open it and see what we have. And this is a pretty heavy box. So I think it's very filled with stuff. Oh, we have a lot of cards here. Let's take them later. Then we have uh, a lot of bags. <laughs> There's a lot of bags. And then we have uh, dice. So this is a dice worker placement game. Uh, some kind of standard dice, but they are heavy. You know. So we have these meeples, nice wooden meeples. And then we have these. So this is the different types we have of the wooden elements. Little ship, we have two types of buildings and then trees. And then we have the meebles, the wooden meebles. This looks really nice. I, I like wooden components. So, and then we have these, maybe scoring markers and track markers. That would be my guess. These to go up different tracks. I think there was a lot of tracks in this game. So that is even more wooden pieces. And then these are also made of wood and not plastic. This is pretty cool. Yeah, I think this is light wood too. This is to hold the dice. So you're going to place dice out as workers. So you can see that this is the purple that has placed this die. So these dice are just going to be placed in these holders here on the board for when you're going to choose actions. I think that is some player aid and they are coated, they are smooth. So this is round structure on one side and income and cleanup and adding cards to the palace. So you're going to have four of these helpers. I like when you have and you have helpers in a game so you can each player can have their own to look at and then you have actions explanation and then extra actions on the back side so player aids one for each player and then we have a draft phase actions and more so this is a common uh, player aid and then we have the rules. We have two rule books, one for the solo rules and then a normal rule book. So this is nice and colorful. The board with setup. I like when you have the uh, pictures, illustrations in uh, the game, in, in um, the rules. So it's easier to to visualize the different things than if it's just text. It looks like they have lots of uh, the illustrations in here for explanation. So this is uh, 19 pages. So I think 18 pages for the rules. And then you have an appendix. Also great when you describe all the different tiles and actions you have so you can look them up if you are in doubt. Different symbols. And then symbols on the back too. That is the rules. And then there are the zone rules. So also a setup for the game and then you have five, six, six pages for rules for the solo game and then also symbols on the back. We will take the cards I think in the end. Then you have these indented boards. I really like when you do the indented boards where you can place your stuff in. So it's not going to slide out also for this scoring track. It's indented too. So nice, really thick cardboard. 
So I think you're going to have four of these, one for each player. Really, really good quality. So four player boards. So you can see very thick cardboard. And then we have a lot of boards in here. So we have a lot of tiles to punch out here. Uh, they just have them a little closer. Tiles. This. Let's test this one. Yeah, it punches out okay. Yeah, fairly easy to punch it out. And then there's some medium thick cardboard. Oh, a little bit over medium thick, I think. A little bit, a little bit thicker. So this is also nice quality and easy to punch out. And we have more tokens on here. And then the back side. And even more tokens. And the back side. And then we have this one. Let's have a little closer up here. And then the back side. And then even more stuff. Looks like victory points if you pass the 100 marker. And we have this one. Take it a little closer here, then underneath here, and the back side. Oh, so you need to punch this one out, I think. Yeah. Or oh, maybe you can place these. I think you're going to place these in here. Oh, for when you go up a track, you can get for victory points or different things. And then we have this one. This one we can take out. It looks like it's uh, half the world uh, of the globe. <laughs> so this is one type of card we have. And oh, we have to look at the other side, I think. So this is different things, I guess you can do. There we have to need read the rule book. But you have different colors down here, but it seems like you can, it, it will go one or the other way. Can you maybe, I don't know. Yeah, there we have to uh, look at the rules, what this means uh, for these cards. And this was a bit different, also this one. Something went up and down, maybe up and down some tracks where we have these colors. And then we have, seems like a lot of cards with this background and then all these, oh, look at this, this is Dolphins and an octopus. <laughs> really great illustrations here. And then we have this. This has something to do with the number of players, I think, for which cards you're going to use. So we have these. We have this. These four were for four players. Then I think this was for three players and two players. Yeah, and this was for two players. And then we have these two huge stacks of cards. I guess this must be the cost for the card and maybe something you need to. And then abilities you're going to gain. And this is maybe something for two axes or something. I look at these illustrations. It looks like they have different illustrations. Very beautiful. Or uh, is it? I don't know. But oh, these two are the same. But I think that's okay. There are so many cards here. And then different abilities and different costs for them. But they do look beautiful, the ones they have here. And yes, seems like some of them are the same, right? So, so maybe it seems like a set of some of the same and then you will have the same again here so 
Or maybe here there are some different ones around the fire. Yeah, and then we have some of the same again. So it seems like we have some of the same sets we can get here. Lots of cards. That was all of the red octopus cards. Then we have the dolphin cards. And uh, again, cards with abilities. Maybe I think this is something that can help you. And they are a little bit different, but the same principle, because then it's the same again, right? So we have these, but with different cost and different abilities on them. So some of the pictures, they're going to be the same, but they're still beautiful. And then there we had it again, right? So just a lot of different cards you can get during the game that can help you. And I will just go past them quick here. Some of them are the same. And then different abilities. Fishing. Painting, sculpture, hunting. That is it. That is all of the blue cards. And now we just have the board left. So this is the board. It's very big and you do have some different tracks you can go up here. And I think you have something you can go up there. Cards. Areas you need to maybe take control of during the game. And then, yeah, it looks beautiful. There's a second side to the board too. I will just take it up a little bit so you can have a closer look at some of the board here. A little closer look at some of it. Ah. And then maybe on this side too. And then you have these tracks here. And then you actually have one more side here. There is another side to the board too. Okay, so this side, the first side we had was for uh, two to three players. This is for four players. There's a little mark up here. So this side is for four players. So maybe you go further up here and there, may maybe more room on this space. So that is four players. So this is all the stuff you get in Miners and it looks beautiful with the cards and the board and all the components, indented boards. Yeah, then I just look forward to getting this one to the table and playing the game. That was my unboxing of Miners Dawn of the Brawn Age.